Hey everyone, today I'm going to open up these four dinosaur figures that I got at Target. Now I'm not sure where else you can get these, but I got them at a Target store. Let's start with this one because he's a little bit too big to fit in the camera. Push everyone else back. Alright, let's take a look at the packaging. It's pretty cool. It's got kind of some old style map artwork on the top area. Galapagos Islands. What's on this side? Uh, some other stuff. Alright, here's some information. It says if they're a plant eater or a meat eater. This is a omnivore, herbivore omnivore, so he mostly eat plants, but most maybe a little bit of animals too. You can read that right there if you just pause it. There's some other stuff down here. Uh, the other side just has some more map artwork. And let's see, here's some information about who made it. And here's the barcode, and it says to recycle the package. Alright, so one thing I like about these is there's no tape on the boxes, so you can just open it up, and if you wanted to, I guess you could put it back into the box without messing up the tape. So I'm just going to try to remove this. It seems to be a little bit stuck. Alright, so this is the... Uh, Nanchungasaurus. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. He doesn't want to seem to come out. I think I'm just going to have to start messing up the package. I'm just going to uh, not save the packaging for this. Alright, there we go. Alright, so there's this thing right here. Um, always be careful with knives. Have an adult do this. If you are not allowed to cut things. Alright, so I'm just gonna do like that. And it will come right out. Alright, let's take a close look at this guy. Okay, I don't know if I can get this to focus, but he has beautiful shiny eyes. Very very reflective shiny paint. And they're very large and cute. And it's a very nice sculpt on the head. Really nice paint. He's got kind of a, not quite a beak, but I'm not sure what you would call that, but uh, you could ob obviously tell he is a plant eater, or she. Very nice stripe on the head that goes down to the neck and uh, around the body. It goes around the legs and down the tail. Let's see, very nice large claws. It's kind of unusual for a herbivore, but maybe he likes to dig. Um, maybe he would dig through weeds and mud or something to find things to eat. Let's see, let's take a look at the bottom. There's a little bit of information on the bottom. It's kind of hard to read. And there's this weird little thing on the tail. I think I'll just cut that off later. Okay, the, the plastic is slightly rubbery. You can uh, kind of bend it, but of course it goes back to where you put it. I mean, it goes back to its natural position after a while. The neck is just barely bendable. So this is pretty sturdy but uh, very nice it, it won't break if you drop it all right so let's put him oh and he stands up okay he uh, holds himself up with this claw so it stands like that pretty sturdy because it's on like three legs kind of all right let's do this one next okay this is this is this is a uh, Decentrurus. It looks like it's related to a Stegosaurus and that type of family. Let's see. Um, can we get all this in the camera? Okay, it's a herbivore. And if you can just pause and read that information right there. It is a Stegosaurid. Okay, and the box is the same, so let's just open it up. 
Let's see. Hope this one comes out a little bit easier than the last one. Because it should just slide out when you, yeah, see like that. The other one was really hard to get out. Alright, this has lots of wires, so I will be right back. Alright, when you take the dinosaur out of the package, you will find that the wires are actually tied in knots around the feet. So, I thought I could un just untwist them on camera, but I, I will be right back again, because I actually have to untie them. Alright, I've got all the wires off. Let's take a closer look at this dinosaur right here. First, the face. He's got a smaller eye with yellow eyelids. That's not his eye, that's eyelids around his eye. Let's take a look at the other side. That eye seems to be painted slightly off-center. He's got a little bit of brown on his mouth. There's some nice skin hanging down right here. His jaw. Nice skin texture. Alright, he's got these spikes on his back with two colors of paint, which is very cool. Each one has a dark green and a lighter green. On these ones, uh, the paint, the light green is in the middle, and on these, the whole spine or spike is light green with a dark green tip. It's got a really nice body stripe. Uh, the top is more of like an olive color, and the bottom is, I don't know, kind of a more of a grass green color. It's a weird little shape right here. Is it on the other side? Yes, it is. I guess that's his skin right there, hanging over his leg. All right, he's got some more information on the bottom. I don't know if you could read that. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look at that tail. Really cool, dangerous looking spikes for protection. Okay, this is seems to be made out of the same plastic as the other dinosaur. I'm sure they all are. Very sturdy, but slightly bendable. Alright, let's put that one down right there. Okay, who's next? How about this one? Let's see, what is this? This is a Pachyrhinosaurus. Very nice. Same type of box. Oh, let's check out the information. Okay. Um, obviously, it's a herbivore. Uh, if you want to read it, just pause it right there. You can find out more information about this dinosaur. Here's the barcode. Alright. One of my dinosaurs just fell over. I guess he's tired. He wants to take a nap. Okay, let's see. Is this one going to come out easily? No, it's not. I'm pulling. And it is not coming out. I guess let's rip this package open. There we go. Okay, more wires. I will be right back. Alright, here is the Pachyrhinosaurus. Just got all the wires off. Let's take a look at that. Nice shape. Alright, let's see. How's his or her face doing? Tiny little eye. It is kind of shiny though. You can see the light reflecting off of it. Nice open mouth with a tongue. Nice kind of a sharp beak type of mouth. Let's take a look at the other eye. It's also nice and shiny. Pretty nicely painted. It's got some black in the nostrils. Little tiny spikes right here. It's got this extra bumpy crest area right here. Some more spikes on the top of his head. And he's got this um, part right here with these little spikes and he's got some curved spikes right there. Extra tiny little ones right there. And it's the same on the other side. Really cool paint. 
It's kind of airbrushed looking. He's got little spikes right here. On the other side also. Really cool neck texture, skin. Let's see, let's check out the information. That one's a little bit easier to read. Really cool spots. I've, I've never really seen dinosaur painted like with spots like this. It's kind of interesting. I like the way he's standing. It's pretty cool. He's got a nice tail. I like this. Uh, it looks like it's a little bit darker right here. The paint. It looks like slightly darker red over the other type of red. Maybe. Let's check out those feet. Really cool back feet. I like I like these toes. That one's a little bit different. That one's flatter. But this one is up off the ground a little bit and you can see the way his foot arches kind of. This one is a little bit off the ground too. And you can see those toes right there. His toenails are painted. I like this one a lot. Very nice. Okay, let's put him right over there. Alright, now this is the last one. I think I'm just going to cut the strap on this one. Okay. So, here comes this little guy right here. If you can just get him out of the box. Alright, this is a Cryolophosaurus. It's the same type of box, but of course he has some different information. This is a carnivore. All the other dinosaurs better watch out for him. You can check out that information right there. Hopefully you can read it. Okay, here's the barcode. Alright, let's take a look at this one. I think this is my favorite. I like the carnivores. Let's see. He's got a very cool face. I like his little teeth hanging down. Very nice eye. He's got these little tiny crests on his head and spikes on his neck. This is he's really cute for a carnivore. I I like this one a lot. I like his stripes and his little spots. Very nice spots that go onto the jaw. Check out that other eye. It's painted very nicely. Bottom of the mouth. Here's the top. It's green right in the middle of the two crests. Okay, let's see. Here are the body stripes. I like the colors a lot. I like the maroon with the dark green and the light green on the bottom. Oops, hitting the camera with his tail. The stripes go all the way along his body and the yellow on his stomach goes all the way down to his tail about halfway and it stops. The green stops and then the rest of his tail is yellow with these really cool stripes kind of like a maybe some type of gecko or lizard Okay, his, his uh, feet, he's got really nice thin ankles, and he's got these little claws right here on them above his heel, and then he's got his big toes right here. Very muscular looking kind of right here, and he's got nice long arms with very long claws three fingers on each hand or front leg A little stripe spots right there here's the bottom let's see is this upside down here's that one is the easiest to read of all of them very cool all right I think that's about it let's see how does he stand? He stands with his two feet like that. Let's zoom in. 
All right, he balances on his tail right there. So very sturdy. He's not gonna really fall over unless you're poking him a lot. And then he holds himself up with his little hand right there. So he could stand up really nicely. Oops, unless, okay, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but this is actually tilted, like it's in an angle. So that's why things roll and fall off sometimes. But anyways, uh, of course this one is on four feet, so he's quite sturdy. And this one is very sturdy. Also, this is very heavy. This is a very solid chunk of plastic. He's not hollow. He's not going to go anywhere. Very, very good dinosaur. So, let's put them all like this. And really, the only reason he's falling is because my white filming area is not straight. Alright, so that's a look at all of these Batatera dinosaurs. Sorry if I'm saying that name wrong. Let's take a look at their back tail areas. I like this one a lot. That's cool. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're in a Target store or, I don't know, wherever else has these, check them out because they're very nice. I think these were $8 each. $7.99 plus tax in US dollars. Alright, thanks for watching. See you later!